So now we are in part three of our rig. What we need to do now is put in the actual pegs so we can make our joint moves. So here we are with our hand, our lower arm, our patch, and our upper arm, as seen in part two. And what we need to do now is create pegs for them. We don't want to move the actual drawings, we want to only move pegs. So what we're going to have to do is go into every single one of these layers and we're going to change in the advanced properties animate using animation tools that way we're going to be attaching pegs to them we won't be moving the actual drawings so we don't have any problems when we start moving our objects later down in the animation sequence so right there I turn that off I'll have to do that for everything else and that and that and this too so we're almost ready to do it you see my drawings over here these are my layers all right so let's begin so right now we only need about three pegs because there's just three joints in an arm well we're not really counting the fingers we're just doing the major joints because we have so we need our shoulder joint right shoulder around here our elbows around here somewhere and we have our wrist so we need three pegs so let's start you have two ways you can create pegs you can click on the layer or come here and you just click on this button here add peg you can click here too and say add peg I find this one easier just click here right sorry let me show you again so just click on, I'm going to click on hand. When I click on this, it's going to create a peg for the hand layer. Choose and add the peg and you'll see it's named after that. Same thing I'm going to do for the lower arm. Add peg, lower arm, underscore P. And the other way you can do it is you can just stay in your network view and press control P. It's going to create a blank peg, which we'll have to attach by ourselves and rename so upper arm peg or p all right so now we have to set our rotation points that's where we start using our advanced animation tools so if you don't have these tools up here which are them what you have to do is you have to right click in this blank area here and you'll see advanced animation so just do that. Feel free to pause the video whenever you want. Just keep going. All right. So now we set the joints and, and their points. You know how animation and drawn objects in here work with pivots. You've probably seen them in previous tutorials, where if you highlight something, you kind of have this thing here, and this is a pivot. Whenever you put your mouse over it, the little P comes up, which means you can change the rotation position. But that's not what we're going to be doing here. We only want to edit our pegs because we already have our hand looking okay. So I clicked on my hand peg, or rather I'll start with the upper arm. Let me zoom in. And I'm going to click on my rotate tool here in advanced animation. And you see this little round thing here. So that allows me to do now is that I can move my peg now. You want to make sure you have animate on when you're doing this. Right? So turn animate on. So when I start moving it, it turns yellow. And I'm going to move this up to about here. Right? Where I assume it would be. You can Once you click on it, you can use the mouse pointer. I mean the arrow keys. The next one you have is your lower arm. So we just move that there where it needs to be. Right? Also remember, the animate should be on. Same little icon with the little running stick man. And now we have hand. And now we put the hand here. Alright, so we are about done setting our joints. 
So if you look now, when I use animate and it's on now, animate's on. If I go on my upper arm and I choose my rotation, I can rotate this. You see that they're rotating. And I'm going to undo that. Whenever you're testing the position or the rotation of your drawings with pegs, always, I repeat, always undo it because if you don't, it's going to cause some problems and you see how right here I can actually, I actually have these and I can actually enter stuff in them. Let's say for example, I rotate this and then I say, you know what, I want to set it back as, as close as possible as I want, I can. Right. If I go back to the properties here, oh look at that, it's pretty okay. Well, you still don't want to do that just in case. Because it will lock some stuff for you. Kind of like rotation here. So let me just undo that for. Okay. All right. Same thing for the lower arm, you can rotate it. And the hand. And of course the joints are small. Check this out now. So we know how our arms work. And we saw that as these pegs are separate from each other, each one can move on its own. But we want it that whenever we move the upper arm, the lower arm and the hand will follow. Same thing for the lower arm, if we move the lower arm, the hand will follow and we should be able to move the hand individually. So what we need to do is do a hierarchy. You see how I raise mine, just for its looks at least. So I'm gonna attach hand and it's going to be a sub of lower arm, like so. I'm gonna do the same thing for lower arm to upper arm. And now when I click on my upper arm peg, you will see all of this being highlighted as I, though I could rotate the entire arm. So when I do this, see that there, whoa. If I come to the lower arm, I can do this. Whoa! Well, I know it's not really that impressive, but still, you know, as long as you're learning, that's good. That's what I'm here for. So, that's it for rigging. Now, let's do a little animation. I'm going to go into more details with this afterwards, but you can always rewatch this last set, this last part here. If you want to animate something, and now that we've made a, or you know, rig. I'm going to just get my arm to straighten out. So, like how I have animate on, you notice that these little boxes come up. These are keyframes. And they come up so that it shows that there's a change in your positions. If I was to remove them, you'll see them starting to set back in their original position. So I'm just going to put some keyframes there, clicking on this button here, plus KF, and the same here. Now I need to extend my frames. You see these little gray boxes? These are where frames are. And if you were to scrub through, you'll notice that the only thing is that there's only frames in frame 1 in the timeline. So we need to actually extend the frames so that when we go along here, there's more to follow. So what we're going to do, or what I'm going to do, or what you're supposed to learn from me, what I'm doing, is you can click here and align it down like so. It only works on the drawings. It doesn't exactly extend pegs because, you know, pegs are just like strings on a puppet. So you just click and drag down and you can press F5. Or you can right click and you where you see extend exposure, that's where you click. And you see it comes all the way along here. Now what I need to do is do a small little animation. So I'm just going to choose where I want the animation to do. Like I just set the positions, right? So at my first frame here, it's just straight. Let's say I come to 20, right? Oh, what's missing here? Oh. I haven't extended the upper arm, so let me just do that. F5, and it's there. So here we are now. I'm gonna, you know, come to 20 and just rotate my upper arm a 
little like so recoil my lower arm I can click on the pegs over here like so get my hand like so and just let it kind of you know come here almost there and the hand goes a little more like so and then it just try to do a punch or something like I'll just straighten my arm now like so you see that there that happens because I actually selected both my layers I just want to do one at a time make sure you always do one at a time so I got that there I got this here and uh, this so now if I'm gonna play it let me just carry this back from 16 just let it stop here oh 40 I press play and it looks like this see that there cool right so that's how you would animate hope that helps y'all who are just starting out so you can actually mess around with your timeline right um i guess that's it for rigging this time so next time i'll be going through some exercises hopefully that will help you probably like rigging a body and having to do with the network and hopefully we'll go into some of the modules i haven't exactly tested them all out yet but they're really cool so that'll come in handy when you want to do effects and such all right well thanks for watching seconds or leaving you hope you have a good week weekend night day evening whatever time you watch this and check out hebrews 11 it's really cool god bless take care